Hey guys! Welcome to Hella History! For today's vlog, I'll be going through and showing you guys the life of Adolf Hitler and how he rose to power and formed a totalitarian government and all that. So I'll just take a quick shower and then we'll be heading out soon. So here I am in Braunau, Austria, birth town of Hitler. I hear some commotion in there. Let's check it out! Adolf, have you been eating my sausages? Nine, I don't even like sausages! Fat, you lies! <laughs> Talk about a rough childhood. Looks like he really wanted to be an artist. Well, let's jump a few years into the future. Here I am in Vienna in the year 1907. Hey, Adolf, right? Can I see that drawing? Um, I'm about to apply to the Academy of Fine Arts. Oh, cool, it looks good. Good luck. Wanna say hi to the viewers? Um, I gotta run. Okay, good luck. Gee, I hope he gets in. Oh hey, here he comes running back. How'd it go? They were all Jews! The occult was right! Jewish people are creatures! <laughs> wow, that was dramatic. Hitler hates the Jews as if they aren't even people. Okay, so moving on, I'm here on the western front of the Great War. That guy over there is Hitler. You see him? He seems like a brave and dedicated soldier. No wonder he won a few iron crosses and found a sense of purpose in the army. So the war is now over, and we're in a soldier hospital ward, where Hitler is recovering from a gas attack. He hasn't heard the news yet. Hello Adolf, how are you doing? The war is over, we lost, the armistice was signed. What? Nine? We are a great army! We couldn't have surrendered! This was the only place I fit in, you know what? It was the Jewish Marxist revolutionaries who caused our surrender. The Jews do nothing but cause trouble. I vow to reverse the peace treaty. Well then, he's blaming everything on the Jews. This hatred of the Jews has definitely helped to create and popularize the image of them as an inferior race. So it's been five years since the armistice, and here I am in the slums of Germany. There's so many people out on the streets. I wonder if it's a celebration about the armistice. Hey guys, why are there so many people out in the streets? We're all unemployed. We have nothing else to do. Oh, well other than that, how's life? Life is so hard. Bread costs one trillion marks. My wife burns the money with fire. Ow, what was that for? Because money is so worthless. It's only good for throwing at tourists like you. Wait, why are you so desperate? The taxes of the German government are so heavy because we lost the war. It's all the Jews' fault. We need to solve the bad living condition and the taxes. A strong political leader to fix our country and punish the dirty Jews. We need someone to march us to freedom. Like that guy over there. Nazi party, which I recently joined and became leader of. I have a simple solution to difficult problems. We, the people of Germany, are fully entitled to the land of the West. I, an authoritarian ruler, will lead Germany to greatness and prosperity, unlike the weak debating society that we all call our government. We, the Nazis, will rise. <laughs> Here we are in Landsberg Prison. Hey Adolf, what are you doing in here? It was glorious. I was a minute's way from saving Germany when my marchers were massacred by the government. But that won't stop my cause. Nein, we will strive for justice. Ah yes, Mein Kampf. The Book of New Germany. Hess, write this down. 
With the help of the Marxist creed, the Jew is victorious over the other peoples of the world. His crown will be the funeral wreath of humanity, and this planet will, as it did thousands of years ago, move through the ether devoid of man. Hence today, I believe that I am acting in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator. By defending myself against the Jew, I am fighting for the work of the Lord. This is unbelievable! If we let the Jews live, will it be the end of the world? Hitler is working for the Lord? He seems to be using the church as a way to blame the Jews. Another example of his manipulation of anything, even the Bible, to prove his beliefs to the public. After Hitler spent only nine months in jail, he gained even more popularity. The Nazi party came to power after a lot of propaganda and the burning of the Reichstag that Hitler blamed on the Jewish communists. Hitler was appointed chancellor, then made himself Fuhrer and gave himself hella power without facing much resistance. Let's see how he could have possibly accomplished all this. Yeah. Mein Deutsch Jugend, nach einem Jahr haben ich das und Gellerheit, diese Ehr nach immer zu Breckenstern. Wir wollen ein Eichenslei Reich zu sein und sie, mein Deutsch Jugend, sind das Reich zu werden. Sie müssen daschen, Frieden bauen und Gorat und Mutig sein! Young. They look like they've been brainwashed or something. It's scary how Hitler can control anyone so easily. His hella speaking skills definitely had something to do with it. Wow, you guys, what an exciting day. We just saw so many causes of Hitler's despicable rise to power. Economically, the people of Germany suffered the effects of hyperinflation due to their loss in the Great War. It surely made them grouchy and want a way out. Hitler was the only solution to them. Later in the Great Depression, it would cause the same circumstances. Politically, he broadcasted an image of Jewish people that brought the Nazi party to power after his personal experiences. He wrote a book, made charismatic speeches, employed propaganda, and even brainwashed children to popularize his beliefs to the point where almost everyone in Germany worshipped him. Stay tuned for more history vlogs and comment below whose life I should follow next. I'm also thinking about doing a history DIY video. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's try to get this to 2,000 likes. See you later. Thanks for watching Hella History.